pieces. So I started with a dark wallpaper. I didn't really like the pattern, so I changed it up for another dark wallpaper. I'm not still too sure about this one, but I think the pattern is okay. At a closer look, you'd see it shines. So that was what caught my eye. So I think I'm gonna stick with this one. Now I left the middle part because that's where the headboard is gonna be. I added pieces of wood together and I'm gonna use this to measure the size of my foam. Now I'm gonna use a one inch foam and measure it and see what it's gonna look like. Now I think it's not gonna be enough for my design, so I would need two. So I'm gonna put another one inch foam on top of this to make it thicker. I'll be gluing the foam on the plastic boards only because I have wooden boards that are separated. So I'm doing this only because I have my wooden boards separated. I'm gonna cut this down to size and add all the pieces together with tape. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. When I was done, I glued the foam on top of it. Because I'm working with separate wooden pieces, I'm going to add them up together using wood glue and tape. This will be dried and cured in 24 hours. Now I'm gonna be taking what I made on top of the plastic boards and glue it on top of the wooden boards that I just joined together. And now I'm gonna be making the pattern. This is my first time attempting a design on a headboard with this kind of suede pattern. And I'm so excited to know what it's gonna look like. Now I'm just gonna make points to guide me with the curves that I'll be making. So the first curve that I'll be making, I cut a part of a small hula hoop that I got from the Dollar Tree and made the first curve. I used the same piece to draw the second curve and the third curve, I used a much larger hula hoop. For the larger curves, I'll be using wooden trim that's really flexible to guide me. I made a couple of mistakes, but then I was sure of the number that I wanted and then used a sharp cutting tool to make deep grooves in all the lines that I want to use. Creating a wide opening will make the pattern come out better. I forgot to mention earlier that I left 4 inches space at the top and by both sides of the headboard to decorate it with something else. When I was done, I covered it with batting. I stapled down the batting inside the lines.
The batting makes the fabric look smooth when the project is finished. So when I was done adding the batting, I then added a white fabric over it because I want a white headboard. I used two yards of folded fabric for this project, which seemed like it was going to be enough. But coming down here, it was short. And I think it's because of the design that I'm working on. So I cut a piece from a side that had a lot, and then I edited it down here. Now, where I edit the fabric, I carefully put it inside and stapled it down. That way, no one is ever going to see it. I went ahead and stapled the sides and trimmed off the excess and then added diamond wrap inside all the lines. I then cut pieces of foam board for the borders and then covered them with mirror reflective paper. I glued these around the wooden space on the headboard. Now at the back, I used hard PVC that's thick to make it easy to mount this on the wall. Now you can use wood for this. Now I also added LED lighting at the back just to give it a more dramatic effect at night. I mounted this to screws that I already had on the wall for the previous headboard. And then I went ahead to add other things like the mirrors and other accessories. I wasn't sure about the dark wallpaper, but when I was done, I kind of like it. It is always good to switch up the look in your home every once in a while so that you don't get bored with the same old look all the time. I'm really glad I did this and I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.